22-year-old Katie Rogers is suing her former roommate, Pamela Della Bella, for rent and damages caused by Pamela's dog. I don't quite understand what you all want. You moved into an apartment together. You signed a lease. You both moved out before the lease was over. What do you want? I want reimbursement for, what? for the rent. Reimbursement for what rent? From when to when? April to May, when I had to move out of April, the apartment. April, just a second. April and May. And you moved out of the apartment? Yes, Your Honor. And you paid rent for those? Yes, Your Honor. Your half? Yes, Your Honor. To the end of the lease? Yes. Now you're going to tell me first why you paid your half of the rent, then you're going to tell me why you think you should get it back having paid it. I paid my half of the rent because my name was still on the lease. Right. And I owed the landlords that money. Correct. So I paid it. Correct. I believe that I deserve that money back because, because the living environment was uninhabitable. I couldn't live there. Okay, and the living environment was uninhabitable because? Because there was dog and pee everywhere, every day. Because while you were living together, you say the defendant got a dog without consulting you. She got a dog without consulting so the landlord. That, just, not the landlord. I'm talking about got a dog without consulting her roommate. Is that what you want me to believe? No, that is not my assertion. Okay, good. So she got a dog and had consulted with you? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And now you say the puppy, because it was a puppy? Yes, Your Honor. And it made all over the house? Yes, Your Honor. That's what puppies do. Yes, Your Honor. That's what puppies but do. They make all over the house. People... Big puppies, big little puppies get little. <laughs> so you owed the landlord money. You paid the landlord your money. Your roommate asked you if she could get a dog. You said yes. And then there was puppy pee, puppy pee all over the apartment, so you had to leave. Yes. Well, you could have cleaned it up. Your Honor, I did. I well, then had there never wouldn't have been seen there. Can I show you the video of this apartment? You can show me the video, but I don't understand. She asked you if she could get a dog. Yes, you said, is. fine with me. She said it was different. You both looked at pictures, and is that what I am led to believe by your answer? Yes, Your Honor. Um, okay, well, let me ask you a question. Yes. From whom was the dog purchased? A woman named Irma in Indiana. Did you both live in Indiana? No, we did not. So the puppy had to be flown to where you live? No, we, Your Honor, we drove to pick her up together okay, just with a friend. When you say we drove, did the two of you drive to pick her up? A friend drove us. Both of you? Yes, we what both. What I'm asking is if the plaintiff went with you to Indiana to pick up the puppy? Yes, she did. The answer is yes. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So far, you're not doing well. Your Honor. Do you understand? Yes, I right. was willing to have a dog in the apartment. I love dogs. I have four dogs at home that I grew up with. But, Your Honor, most people do not leave their dogs alone for 16 hours at a time. Uh... This dog was abused. It was sad. It was not living a proper life for a husky puppy, and I told her that, Your Honor. Your Honor, that's not true. Shh, 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 shh. When Pamela, that would be you. Yes, ma'am. Moved in, she brought a puppy and a cat into the apartment. That's what you wrote. Yes, Your Honor, she had a cat as well. Did she get the puppy before or after you moved in together? Before. So before you became roommates? We lived at a different apartment together. Better. So you lived at a different apartment together. You went with her to get the puppy and then moved into another apartment and signed a lease with her. We had already signed the, ele the lease before she had gotten the puppy. So you knew she had the puppy? No, Your Honor. I did not know. When I we signed the lease on February 4th, and she got the puppy at the end of February. You went with her? Yes, Your that Honor. That wasn't a surprise visit to go to the puppy? No, Your you, Honor. It was planned. It was planned, yes, it Your Honor. It was planned. Yes, okay. Your Honor. Sorry. All right, you know where I'm going, Miss Rogers. It's, yes. Your claim is ridiculous. What is your counterclaim? My counterclaim is I want to I want to be reimbursed for work that I missed due to Katie abandoning the dog the day after we brought her home. That's not happening. Okay. Grow up. Also, what, what's next? Also for moving expenses because I made arrangements for the dog to live with my aunt and uncle and I also had a letter from my doctor stating I was allowed to have the dog. Katie still left the apartment and she said that I would leave the dog alone for up to 16 hours. I have okay. text messages okay. showing. Where's the dog now? The dog is still with me at home. Great. At whose home? My friend Amanda is taking care of her right now. Just a second. Do you live with your friend Amanda? No, I live on my own now. With the dog? Yes. Is the dog now housebroken? She's completely housebroken. Terrific. Thank you. Wasn't thin, didn't work out. You're out of that apartment now? Yes. Good for you both. You're in someplace else now? Yes. You don't get your rent back. We're done. Thank you. Please excuse me.